everyone, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So in this video, I just wanted to sit down and outline the best practices for how to succeed while studying remotely and just overall how to make the online learning experience a little less painful. I have been studying remotely this entire past fall semester and I will continue to take a remote semester into the spring. So I have learned a lot about online learning and just how to make yourself the most successful, keep your grades up and just keep yourself sane. So I will be sharing those practices with you today. Okay, so I have six tips that I'm gonna share with you. So starting off at number one, you want to designate one space where you're going to do all of your Zoom classes at. Since you're at home, it's really important to categorize your different spaces. You don't want your entire house to be a place of stress and a place where you feel like you're constantly at school or constantly at work. So it's important that you create these separations and distinctions between where you're doing your classes and where you're studying and where you're relaxing in your own house. So what I do is I strictly keep all of my Zoom classes at my desk in my room. I take all of my Zoom classes there. And also the nice thing about this is, one, I'm creating this distinction, the separation between you know my desk being my workspace and my school space and then the rest of the house being kind of like a free, stress-free place for me. Um, but the nice thing also is that if there is a day where you feel super restless or super stressed out, you can just take that one day and do Zoom classes somewhere else. And obviously it's not a big change, but for example, I always do my Zoom classes at my desk, but if I'm feeling really restless one day, I might do them in the basement or in the dining room. And again, while it's not a big change, it's kind of this small way of tricking your brain into thinking that you're doing something new. Okay, now the second tip is to reach out to your classmates over Zoom. Now I know this can feel super awkward and I talked about it in another one of my videos about starting college, but use your resources. Zoom has a private chat function, so use it. Reach out to these people, make friends in your classes because I'm telling you right now, it's gonna come finals time and you're gonna see your final assignment, your paper or your project or you know study questions for your exam and you're gonna have no idea what the professor is talking about. You're not gonna understand the prompt. You're gonna be confused on the assignment and you are going to hate yourself for not reaching out to people earlier in the year and have someone to kind of rely on. Obviously, when we're doing classes in person, it's a lot easier to make these connections naturally, a lot easier to get someone's number or just become you know pretty good friends with someone so then you can ask them for help on assignments or ask them for help when you're confused it's a lot harder on zoom so just don't forget this part I'm telling you online classes will be so much easier if you know at least one person in your classes who you can text or ask questions or help for um, if you're ever confused my third piece of advice for you is to go outside and get some fresh air and do a little bit of movement between each of your online classes and I'm not just talking like get out of your chair and like walk around your house although that's great too if you don't have a lot of time but if possible you should really try to go outside and get some fresh air and just either walk around the block or just up and down the street once if you don't have a lot of time or even check the mailbox at the end of your driveway anything you can do to get yourself outside and moving a little bit because with online classes it's really easy to kind of just stay at your desk or stay at your bed and scroll through TikTok or Instagram between your classes and you're gonna realize that you've been sitting in the same chair with horrible posture or straining your eyes for hours at a time, which is obviously not good for you. So if you have a chance, I really encourage you to go outside and get some fresh air. It really helps me and it is a game changer. My fourth tip for you guys is to wake up at the same time every day and also try to wake up at least a half an hour before your class starts. Now I know this one's really tricky because it is so tempting to just wake up right before your class starts because all you have to do is roll out of bed and sit in your chair. But I found that whenever I did that, I was just still really groggy. It didn't feel like I had actually woken up yet. I wasn't really paying attention it was really hard to kind of like stay zoned in and just stay focused in class so I really encourage you guys to wake up at the same time every day one because it'll just help you establish a sense of normalcy and routine and two if you wake up at least a half an hour before your class you have some time to kind of wake up brush your teeth go eat food and then come back to where you're doing your zoom classes and then that way you'll be a lot more alert you'll really be more awake and you'll be able to do better in your classes because you're actually retaining information and you're present and focused Okay, so my fifth tip for you guys is about organization and it's to have two separate places, one where you put your assignment and your homework and the things that you have to do and a second place where you put class schedule. So what time your classes will be and maybe even what time office hours are for your professors and TAs. Now this helps me because I think putting everything in one place can get cluttered very quickly, get very confusing and overwhelming to look at. So what I'll do is I'll use this kind of more traditional planner to write down my homework and the things that I have to do. And so that kind of just sits at my desk next to me so I can kind of see always like what I have to do next or what I have to do for the rest of the day and then I have all of my classes on Google Calendar and the nice thing about Google Calendar is that you can put your classes down but also since it's electronic obviously you can just 
kind of copy and paste your class Zoom link there. So as long as I just go to my Google Calendar and I say, oh, today I have you know, my intro to directing class, I'll just click on the block and then already the Zoom link will pop up and I just click it and go to class straight from there. All right, so my last tip for you guys, tip number six, is to keep in touch with your professors and TAs. Now this might seem like a no-brainer, but with, when you're taking online classes, it can be really easy to forget to do that. Obviously, when you're taking Zoom classes, you kind of, you know, come to class right on time and you leave right on time. So there's not really a chance of, oh, let me, you know, come five minutes early to class to ask my professor a question, or let me stick around 10 minutes after my discussion to ask my TA about something we covered in class that day. Those moments kind of disappear. So you have to be really intentional about reaching out to your professors and your TAs and establishing a connection with them, making sure that you're asking questions so you don't get behind and just creating a connection. That way you have someone when you're networking later for internships and stuff like that. And it never hurts to have your professor know your name and know that you're always reaching out and working hard because when it comes down to final grades, even though obviously, yeah, there's rubrics and things like that, they can't change your grade a bunch. It is subjective enough to the point where if they think, oh, like I know Mira, she's been working super hard this year, asking lots of questions. Maybe my final grade is like a slight difference between a B plus and an A, they might bump it up to an A. Obviously, not every professor is gonna do that, but it's always good to establish a connection and really make sure you put yourself out there, put your name out there in class. All right, so that is the end of the video, but I just wanna tell you guys, thank you so much for stopping by and good luck if you're doing online learning this year. I know it can be really, really tough. It can be stressful, but you got this. We are almost at the end of this crazy situation, so just hold out a little bit longer. As always, if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments down below so I can help you guys if you need help. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. So anyway, again, that's all for today and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.